Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the second ever Soul Exchange. Everybody's been waiting for this to come around. Multiple people asking what it's going to be, and it's finally here. Got only one exchange to do. You see on the timer up top, there's one day and 12 hours left. So, I mean, I didn't even do it right away. I've already let 12 hours go by, and there's still... A good 36 hours to go, so folks got plenty of time to think on who they want. But I just want to run through these heroes real quick because there are a lot of good ones in this one. This one is a lot better than the the first one that they rolled out with. All right, starting with the 10 hero tier, the bottom of the barrel. Cunchin, old school healer, slow healer, but does do a good amount and a cleanser. I can see him being good in this first tier. Norns is a Titan and Mythic Titan Slayer. We're changing up the element and all that good stuff. And then hit three, same damage I like as well. Norns I use in every war. Elverdeer, good old fashioned hero of the month. He ain't worth it. Kagan costume ain't worth it. This guy, I don't even know what he does. He does 355 damage to the target. All right, so he's a sniper, so he's not worth it either. <laughs> so out of the out of the top tier, Cunchin, good for a healer, good for a cleanser, gives some defense and down. Oh, uh, everybody that owns him, I do not own him, but everybody that owns him loves him. And Norns. So I think those two, if you only got 10 heroes you can exchange, I think those two are your top two you should be looking for. This middle one is 15 heroes required. People do love their Grimble. Gets rid of minions and all that jazz. Not sure if I would use it for this. If I didn't have Grimble, I don't think he would be one of the top tiers on Soul Exchange. I do love Divana. Again, another hero of the month. So those, everybody had plenty abundance to try to get. She's good for the dispel and everybody knows my love for Divana, but even if I didn't have Divana, I wouldn't pull for her. Lady of the Lake, however, this is when you get into event summons. And Lady of the Lake is amazing. Her costume side is not as good as this side, so you're still getting a good a good pull when you do Lady of the Lake. Another slow hero like the Cunchin before, but this one gives that minions that take away the mana, and that comes in handy in just regular war, or regular raids, or even doing map stages, and you can't get past the boss because the, the boss ends up killing you. Well, this is a good healer. This is a good way to get the minions going and tinking away at his mana so he never uses his special on you, therefore you don't die from his big special and you could advance through more levels quicker if you're kind of at the beginning stages of the game or if you're just having trouble in general with um completing certain stages of the game maybe a hard mode of season three or something like that she would come in amazing another hero of the month hero of the months we have 30 days to get them none of these hero of the months are like the ones that would blow you away i'm not really sure which ones would be mind-blowing and then Ariel, another um, season, or this is season two, but it's not a hero of the month. All the non-hero of the month, I think, are the probably your best option. But this one's tight. If it was costume Ariel, I think she would be my pick out of this whole thing. <laughs> but as lovely as it is, I think Lady Lake and Ariel are the best in the middle tier. She's an average cleanser that does a good amount of health health um, with her healing and the man and jazz is all nice now this bottom one with, tw <laughs> with 20 heroes is dumb because every single one of them is good like every one of them are awesome lepiota kind of takes somebody out the mix where you could do some ghost in the ocean action they still get damage over that uh sif is awesome with the reflect people those hit alls that you're seeing, they just kill themselves. Mother North, everybody knows what Mother North does, bringing everybody back and reviving people and having that. 
Good one also. <laughs> Black Knight. We love how much taunt is, and he does that taunt damage for one all the time. So, he is quite amazing, plus boosts the attack of everybody else. And then, Lord Loki. Copies any specials, so depending on who you go up against, you can have fun with him and use whatever their special is. He's good for very fast war. He's good for for anything. And if you've got low health people, you can... If you're in a raid or something, you can hit hit him on a healer and you get a heal. If you don't need a heal at the time, boom, hit him on a hitter. You can do some hit all damage to everybody. You know what I mean? So you, know, you can hit him on like a Ludwig or something, and he'll end up being giving everybody else mana right next to him. So he's all around uh, useful, just depending on who you're going up against. If there's anybody worth copying, then bring him on in. But yep, those are all the selections there. Um. I guess it just goes towards whatever whatever you want to use it for. There's so many good options. By so many, Norns is probably the best one there. Lady of the Lake, Ariel, and then the five. That's eight. That's eight heroes of the 15 shown here that are extraordinary. And not giving talking trash to all the Grimble lovers and me being a divine lover. They're, they're not trash heroes. <laughs> just those eight are like mind-blowing eight so you won't go wrong with those eight i guess it all depends on what you got but at the same notion i do have all those heroes of the eight except for lord loki oh shit so all those main eight that I just called out, Lord Loki is the only one I don't got. So I'll go ahead and pick him. If it was Costume Ariel, I think Costume Ariel I would pick over Lord Loki. But that is not the case. I did pre-unlock my 20, so I wouldn't have to be going back and forth for that jazz. Nope, that is 20. Alright, Lord Loki it is for me. The copycat master. The trickster god, actually. I didn't even know he was a trickster. But he is quite a trickster, no doubt. I had exactly 20 spots free in my hero roster. So getting rid of 20 makes it 40. Claiming him makes it 39. So, alright one hero only you can choose so choose wisely you do got two whole days um so it didn't really suck too bad that we didn't get the early information on what was coming because like i said you got whole two days to decide this video took what not even 10 minutes explaining all the heroes and just looking at the roster i knew in five seconds that lord Loki would be my pick because i already got every other hero so I mean, just it ain't, it ain't gonna be as time consuming as you think, where people just need the early information. <laughs> but nonetheless, bunch of great heroes, and of those eight, none of them will be a disappointment. All of them are worth the mats to take all the way. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching as always, and we'll catch you in the next Soul Exchange.